Twisted Vessels, The Heart of Darkness. It was a dark and stormy night as John made his way to the hospital. He had been diagnosed with a rare heart condition and needed an immediate transplant to survive. As he sat in the waiting room, he couldn't help but feel anxious and scared. He was about to receive a new heart, but little did he know, it came with a terrifying secret. After hours of waiting, John was finally taken into the operating room. He was prepped for surgery and given anesthesia. As he drifted off to sleep, he couldn't help but wonder about the donor of his new heart. He had heard stories about people getting transplants from deceased individuals and taking on some of their characteristics, but he never believed in such superstitions. When John woke up, he was in a hospital room with a bandage over his chest. He felt weak and groggy, but he knew that this was a normal side effect of the surgery. However, as he looked around the room, he couldn't shake off a feeling of unease. There was something off about the atmosphere, and he couldn't quite put his finger on it. As days went by, John started to notice strange changes in his behavior. He would have sudden violent outbursts and would often wake up in the middle of the night, covered in sweat and gasping for air. His dreams were filled with terrifying images of blood and violence. He tried to brush it off as a side effect of the medication, but deep down, he knew something was wrong. One night, as John was walking down the hospital hallway, he heard a voice calling out to him. It was a low, sinister voice that sent chills down his spine. He looked around, but there was no one in sight. The voice kept getting louder and more persistent, and John couldn't escape it. He felt like he was losing his mind. The next day, a nurse mentioned to John that his new heart came from a convicted serial killer who was executed on death row. John's blood ran cold as he realized the truth. He had received the heart of a murderer, and it was now controlling his actions. The nightmares and violent outbursts were not just side effects, but the remnants of the killer's soul. John knew he had to do something before it was too late. He started researching the serial killer and discovered that he had a history of targeting his victims' hearts. He was known for removing their hearts while they were still alive and keeping them as trophies. John was horrified at the thought that he now had the heart of a man who took pleasure in killing innocent people. As the days went by, John's behavior became more and more erratic. He couldn't control his impulses, and he started to see visions of the serial killer's victims. He knew that he was running out of time, and that the killer's soul was slowly taking over his own. In a desperate attempt to rid himself of the killer's heart, John went back to the hospital and begged the doctors to remove it. But it was too late. The heart had already merged with his own, and there was nothing they could do. John was doomed to live the rest of his life with the burden of a serial killer's soul. From that day on, John was never the same. He was haunted by the deeds of the killer, and was constantly reminded of the fact that he now had a part of him inside him. He was no longer the kind and gentle man he used to be. He had become a vessel for evil, and there was no escaping it. As for the hospital, it was abandoned soon after John's surgery. People claimed that it was haunted by the ghosts of the killer's victims, and no one dared to go near it. The only thing that remained was a chilling reminder of the horror that had taken place within its walls. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.